primary objective is to basically expose the kids to some of the knowledge and skills that is quite applicable in the world of uh, technology at the moment. That revolves around concepts of user-centred design, user experience, etc. So exposing them to some simple techniques, areas of, of knowledge that right now, if you possess those, you're, you're pretty employable. You're going to present, you can do it as a group, and what I want you to do is talk us through your persona. The secondary part of it is to then try and come up with something tangible that they can put their stamp on that they've done in the school, and that's using our, our software tool the school has, and basically trying to build out uh, whatever solutions they come up with by the end of the day, and they might be prototype, they might be final things, but giving something that they can also feel proud of having gone through the, the process that we're going to take them through. I'm really uh, excited about this opportunity that the kids are having because it's giving them the opportunity to connect with industry and to get an understanding of how design works in the real world. We teach a lot of design subjects at Don and we try to cover things as best we can but by definition it's, it's an artificial environment and this is a good opportunity for them to experience how design works in the real world. We start to draw out what we think that might look like. I think it's very valuable for the students to connect with people like Simon and, and I think it's going to be really useful for them to maintain that contact after this finishes. Many of these students hopefully will go into design as a career and having that contact and that ongoing relationship with Simon and Mosaic Life Tiles is, is going to be beneficial to them I think. I think the biggest benefit for the students today was the connection between a design exercise and the persona that the students used. I think by having a persona that it creates a real life connection to a possible client rather than what we normally use would be a more imaginary client. Yeah, it was good to have Simon here today. It's good to see how his sort of mind works, how he sort of uh, works his way around designing things like websites that we did today. Um, well, I've always been interested in design, so I'm um, doing a bit of furniture design at the moment in my classes, so it's really interesting to be able to apply that to my own work and things. I really enjoyed creating the persona for the um, design challenge. I found that it was a really good way, a good process to start designing for a client. Um, I'm doing housing and design this year because I'm really into architecture so I think it would be really cool you know, to know what the client wants and work with the client. Today was really beneficial because having someone young like Simon who can actually come in and interact with us and understand where we're going. Um, it was really good because he's kind of going through the processes that we're going through in our design classes. So having someone here who's actually done that stuff and can talk to us about his kind of process that he's gone through is really cool. So. Honestly ex uh, exceeded expectations. The students, um, their energy levels were, were really, really good. They were engaged. Every activity they did, every challenge we threw at them, they really took it on. And the real important thing for me is they applied the feedback they got, particularly out of our critique sessions. You know, it's, it's a hard thing to be told or suggested that what you're thinking might be wrong or you've got to do it differently. And they, they all took it on board, they, they refined their ideas. And then when we got this afternoon to, to building stuff, um, you know, they just got on with it. They hadn't seen the tool, they hadn't touched the stuff before. All of them bar one and it never actually built a website before and by the end of it I think well, we had six odd pages. You know, really good starting points and some pretty impressive stuff done. So. so I think it's a great way of having a new set of tools, techniques, approaches to give the students just a different way of thinking about how to, to view a problem. Um, I think empathy is, is the big one. You know, getting them to think about the user or it might be the person in the situation, that, you know, if it's a, some sort of societal issue. And then the techniques we did about rapid ideation of what we could solve, um, prototyping that, testing it, fail fast, all those approaches in IT, you know, we generally take for granted, can apply to just about anything to be honest.